on the 31st of August 2016, we had our first sunrise and a plane together. From that moment, we knew we wanted to explore the world. And then we were one year together and booked our first trip together to Portugal. Earlier that month, we went to see us his family in Poland, where we had some great time exploring the country as well. In the coming years, we would explore more of Europe. We went on trips to Stockholm, Copenhagen and London. We also did our first trip outside of Europe. We went on a trip to Cape Verde. This was all great and learned us a lot about traveling. A year later, we decided to step it up a little bit. We went on our first big trip and explored the wonderful island of Bali. Bali was such a wonderful trip and it made us realize how much we love traveling. It also made us decide to travel even more and further. Jessie graduated, she wanted to go to Australia as no pair. So we made the deal that when she was finished, I would come over and we would do a road trip from Sydney to Cairns. So whilst planning the trip, we decided we wanted to visit Tasmania as well for its beautiful nature. So fast forward 9 months and after my last exam, I stepped on a plane in Brussels to fly all the way down under to meet up with Jessie in the beautiful city of Sydney. On the first morning we decided to wake up early to catch sunrise at the Opera House and man it was worth it. The next couple of days Jesse showed me around the city. And we ended off our stay in Sydney with watching the sunset at the Harbour Bridge. The next day it was time to pick up our van and start the Australian trip. We arrived quite late in Byron Bay, but we took advantage of it and watched the sunset at the beach. The next day we went to the most eastern point and hiked up towards the lighthouse. After Byron Bay, we drove up to Surface Paradise, where we would have the afternoon at the beach and the evening in the city. The advantage of having a camper van is that you can go where you want whenever you want. We decided we had seen enough of Surfers Paradise, so we took the drive to Brisbane. In Brisbane, we went to the Koala Sanctuary. There we could hold a koala like proud parents and feed some kangaroos. The next day we set off from Brisbane to Noosa. There we would spend the rest of the day and the following morning. We left Noosa and drove up to Rainbow Beach. Google showed us a scenic route and took us off road into the forest. Later that day we arrived at Rainbow Beach. From there, we would go on a three-day trip to the largest sand island in the world, Fraser Island.
Fraser Island was a wonderful trip. We both had a great time there and the same day we drove from Fraser Island to Hervey Bay. After which we would drive to the town of 7070 where we would have a camp spot with a great seaside view. From the town of 7070 we took the long drive all the way up to Cape Hillsborough. We went there for one particular reason, and that was this one. After spending the morning with the kangaroos, we drove up to Early Beach. There we decided to have a chill day at the lagoon and wander around the village. The day after I got woken up at 6am, Jessie told me she wanted to go for breakfast. Half asleep and not knowing what was about to happen, I started following her into town and then this happened. Skydiving is one of the things I always wanted to do, so I'm super grateful I was able to do it at Early Beach. The next days we would spend on a boat. We sailed and explored the beautiful with Sundays. There we would visit Whitehaven Beach and go snorkeling at some amazing locations. From the wet Sundays we went to Magnetic Island, a small island near Townsville. From Townsville we drove all the way up to Mission Beach. We had the beach all to ourselves, so that was a perfect opportunity for me to send out the drone. The final drive from Mission Beach to Cairns wasn't too long. Even though the first part of our trip was almost over, we had some very cool things to look forward to in Cairns. Our first time diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Diving was an unforgettable experience. Surrounded by millions of fishes and other species, it was great to discover the Great Barrier Reef like that. A few days later, we brought back our van and flew from Cairns to Melbourne.
therapy would have a one day layover where you could catch a glimpse of the city. The next day it was already time for another short flight, all the way to the city of Hobart where we'd start a trip in Tasmania. From Hobart we drove to Triabun, there we would spend the night and the day after we would go to Wineglass Bay. After Wineglass Bay we drove all the way up to the Bay of Fires. There we could see a beautiful sky full of stars and the day after we would go to the famous Red Rocks. From Bay of Fires we drove across the island all the way to Mole Creek. There the next day we would try to climb Cradle Mountain. We did the hike on Cradle Mountain and when we reached the top we directly knew why it was a must do when visiting Tasmania. After Cradle Mountain we would drive south to Brunny Island. There we would spend the last day at the beach. Even though our road trip in Tasmania had come to an end, we were happy that we had the opportunity to explore such a beautiful island. Our time in Australia had almost come to an end. We flew back to Sydney where we would have a last day to say goodbye. Although our trip hadn't completely ended yet, on our way back to Belgium we had planned a two-day layover in the beautiful city of Abu Dhabi. After a wonderful stay in Abu Dhabi where we witnessed a whole new culture, we headed back to Belgium. Looking back at our journey, we're so grateful of what we did and experienced over the past couple of weeks. If there is one thing we know, is that we can't wait to head out and start exploring again. Thank you for watching our Australian trip.